Oh, there it goes. It's peaking. 17, 21, 23,800 torpor. Holy crap, man. This is definitely the way to go. What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here hanging out today doing stuff and things playing some modded Ark Survival Evolved on the Pooping Evolved server. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a great day. I thought I'd bring you guys in and show you. Let's just go to is it Gamma 2 that we're at? We're at Gamma 2 right now. We're basically at Gamma. Show you what the base looks like at night. Pretty cool, huh? And we got a little buddy. Over here, I'll tell you what's going on with that as well. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me. Got some cool, fun stuff and things planned for today. Make sure if you guys like this video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and show your support. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. So I was out doing stuff and things. I was actually looking for some metal. And I was I normally get my metal right on the mountain that's near the base here. But I went over to the ice flow where we can get crystal and penguin stuff and things and different stuff. And uh, there's some metal over there too. And this little guy, lady... Uh, walked through the portal and came to hang out at our base. I hope you have a good time while you're here, buddy. Because eventually you'll probably just despawn. So, I don't know. Maybe we could leave the portal open and, like, push a bunch of guys inside of here. But anyway, so, started off today just doing some stuff and things. Placed a couple other things around here in the base. I placed the little Bertha, the mini Bertha, so I could repair my nightmare rifle. And I went ahead and got a bunch of metal going. So, we got that coming up right here. Looks like we got 1,500... Another 500, about 2,000 more that's going to uh, smelt up, and we got 5,000 in there. Um, and I went ahead and made some more cementing paste, too, just a little bit, because we're going to need it. Because today, we're going to start off with, at the very least, doing the base extension. So, inside of here, I got about almost 5,000 cementing paste. I got 4,000 stone. That's what we need, and we need that in metal to build all of the um, RFC stuff and things. So I think that's what we're going to start off with today. Just making sure we got enough materials. Now, you know what kind of really stinks? You can't split stacks out of this. Oh, wait, you can? Oh, no, no, no. That's the maximum amount I can carry. Yeah, you can't really split stacks out of that inventory. So what we're going to have to do is, like, go like this. And then, wait, we can't even carry that much metal. What the crap? What the crap, game? Wait, uh, uh. And we're going to have to move metal over here to this thing like this. So it's so funny, man. In this game, you know, it's modded arc. We got all sorts of crazy stuff. Level 300. And, um... We can't even really, like, carry resources from one side to the other with a weight of a 1,000, man. It's so crazy. So we'll pick this guy up. We'll go ahead and split that. Um, I guess we could use a dino or something like that, too. But uh, it's probably just as fast to do it this way. So um, no changes to the server, by the way. Just to give you an update, everything's been working fine the last day or so. So we don't need to worry about that. So um, what I think I want to do today is go ahead and build another platform similar to this down here in this area. And there's some more machines from a couple other mods that I want to get into. So we're going to play around with that, too. I'm super excited about it. And then I think, I don't know, we might do something else. I have some plans, some stuff and things planned out. So what we're going to start off with is going ahead into the RFC and into the ceilings. Let's just go ahead and build, like, 20 of these guys. I wish you could shift-click a stack to make, like, 10 or something like that. And then we'll build 20 of these guys, too. And then we're already going to be out of resources. And we're going to need way more than that. So it's going to be a little bit of behind-the-scenes resource gathering. Um, what else do we need here? We're going to need some... Oh, wait. Uh, that's wrong. Uh, 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 pillars as well. So we're going to need to build a bunch of these guys. I guess we'll just craft up the four. And then I'm interested to see what we're going to be running out of already. I'm going to guess it's going to be metal. So we can go ahead and move some more over here and maybe get some more stuff and things done. Oh, we have 263 in there because the printer can't hold anymore, I don't think. Yeah, that 4,000 weight on the printer is a little wacky. All right, guys. So the new base is looking good, but we can make it better. Gonna craft up some stuff and things, and then I'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back. Just been getting some material stuff and things going on. Uh, like I was saying, guys, the funny thing is about this is is with this modded is that we've turned everything up so high, but because everything's so expensive, it's like it's evened out. <laughs> so I've been gathering up tons and tons of materials, and I think I'm at the point finally where I'm I'm running out of cementing paste. I do believe. Let's go ahead and squirt that in there. We can make only 20 more. Yeah, we're really low. Really low on cementing paste. You got anything else good inside of there? No, you don't. All right, come up here. So, like I was saying, got a bunch of the building done. I'll show it to you here in a second. Some different little mini stuff and things that I did um, because I was having some trouble getting around the base. So, let's go into the, the early morning gamma. So, I added these guys right here. They're the RFC railing entry points, so you can kind of walk in and out of them. I got to jump up this one. I went ahead and added one over here with some stairs. And then I started making the platform up here. 
Um, and it did a little bit different than I did over here. Over here, I just put like one foundation kind of jutting out, and then that goes right up. Here, I put like a, a ceiling, pardon me. I put a ceiling jutting out, then this, and then another ceiling jutting out. And then on these sides, also, I put the RFC entry railing so you can get in and out. Because I was having some trouble like getting up inside the base. So, uh, anywho, so let's take a look over in here. I do believe I have some stuff ready to rock and roll for some building. Uh, I need these, and I need these. Oh, I have some of those already, too. I got some of these, some of those, some of them. I need some of those. I need inside of here, yeah, I do believe, inside the molecular printer. We've got two more of those, two more of those, six more of those. So we should be good to go here. One of these, one of these, one of them. Um, and then also, actually, let's grab these pillars. Oh, wait, did I stick them inside of here? I have some different kind of pillars that I wanted to check out, too. So let's have a look here. Where are they? Right there, like so. All right. So over here, this is going to go like this. It's a wall there. Oh, no, not that one. There, a wall there. And then... Well, we could do it like this. And then... I want to use these AC walls still. Just because I think they're super cool. But I also am interested to see if some of these power systems that we're going to use are, like, interchangeable. So... Oh, you know what? Wow, those are getting powered. These are all powered? I wonder what they're powered from. Does it even say... That's so crazy weird. Those are getting power from something. It, I wonder if, that's what I was wondering about. I wonder if this electrical Jenny is compatible with this power system from um, Arc Futurism. So you know what we can actually do to find out? Okay, so these are unpowered now. Those are unpowered, but these are still powered. So these walls, I mean, that makes sense. Because those are from Arc Futurism as well. So the walls are getting power from this guy. And then the reach of this must be this far. Like, that's how far it reaches. All the way over into here. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool information. All right. So let's go ahead and turn this back on. We're going to need that for all these machines. Okay. So we've got our walls up. That means we can kind of probably take this and more centrally locate it. Um, and that would give us power throughout. Um, we might actually be able to even take down over in here somewhere. Um, put a foundation down and then we could get power for everything. That's super cool. All right So we got to place this wall right here like so all right now moving on to the pillar hot pillar action So I want to play around with these pillars because they look like they're like they have open space inside of them. They they do That's cool looking man. I Like that a lot better. Can I switch these guys out? Oh, that's neat. Oh Oh, it didn't do it here Oh, weird. I'm going to have to break that, which could cause some problems, maybe. That's so weird that the bottom one replaced so fine. And so did that one. All right. So, anywho, down over here, I think we're just going to use these pillars. Like so, like so, and like so. And are we now we're out of them? Constantly out of stuff and things. So, let's go inside of here again. Uh, pillars. And then we'll just make like ten more. Uh, or nine. All right, so down inside of here, what I do want to get into is some of the Arc Advanced, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, blah, blah, some of the Arc Advanced building stuff. Um, but I still have to kind of finish up the top of this and um, probably get a ring set up to put it put it in there too. Our little buddy is still with us. We're not gonna. I, I know some people might want to tame. I don't think we're gonna tame it. It's only level fifty six. I think we're just gonna let him hang out. But all right, so more gathering of materials, more building stuff and things. Uh, and then once we're getting ready to play some machines, I think I'll come back for you guys. BRBs, peeps. And we're back. Check it out, peeps. The new second part of the base here. Huge stairway system. I had to place a bunch of like weird stuff and things to make this work. Oh, wait. It's a little bit off. <laughs> oh, well. But um, I think we'll just leave it there for now so that we can build off of this in the future. We'll probably end up building another platform that's not that far down to the ground or something like that. And then we've got our new area over here. All of our stuff and things ready to rock and roll. Really similar to the one we built up here. Um, so some pretty cool stuff and things. Now let's go ahead and park up here and I'll show you a little bit about what's going on. So unfortunately, the rings are a little wonky. Let me show you here. All right, that was perfect, right? We went down, right down from the one ring to the other ring. All right, let's go up over here. Okay, it's perfectly perfect. Now let's go down over here. Wait, that didn't work out at all. <laughs> you see? So we didn't go down this time. 
I wonder if we look in the direction we want to go. Nope, that didn't work. So, and then this wasn't happening before. Like, it's really weird. The rings now are kind of like linked in a weird way. So if we go up this one, we go to the forward ring. See what I'm saying? So unfortunately, it doesn't look like you can have these rings this close together. Um, I don't know a way to... I don't know if renaming them would do it. I don't know. I don't think so. But anywho, so six or a half dozen, our rings are wonky. So we'll probably have to take one of the sets of rings out and just have one, one set of rings, which is perfectly fine. Also, I went ahead and moved um, this guy, the uh, fusion reactor, underneath the ground here. And so now this fusion reactor power relay that's right here kind of squirts out of there a little bit. It powers everything. So now we have the air conditioning um, or what are they even called? The vented walls over here, ready to rock and roll. So I told you we want to get into Arc Advanced to play around with that today. So we're going to take a look at the advanced or advanced crafting station. Now, the cool thing about Arc Advanced is a lot of the stuff, let's go ahead and make this, a lot of the stuff and things, um, remember I was telling you before, like it's hard to tell what mods do what or what mods are from what. It's nice because you don't look for advanced, but you look for advanced, advanced fabricator, advanced cooking, advanced electric. So the guys actually put the name of the mod into the title of all of the things that you're going to build. What do I need this? I need a water pump, advanced plumbing part. That sounds cool. Oh, that's advanced, not advanced. So, but there's a lot of them in here. There's really cool stuff too. Advanced cauldron forge, craft glass panel, copper ore, copper plates, and more. Advanced impact crusher. Craft advanced resources in mass. So there's all sorts of neat stuff. There's this charging station. Um, I think Z has gotten into a bunch of this stuff too. Um, so uh, let me go ahead and just put this over here. We're going to start off with our advanced crafting station. Uh, we'll just place it right here like a so. All right. Nail the days to carry stop the beginnings is of our stuff and things. So here you could do cr structures. Okay. So here's the cooking station. There's some different stuff in there. Fridges. Advanced electric smoker. Burns at low temperature to dehydrate food and kill bacteria. Keeps perishables from spoiling for a small time. So that's probably like uh, if you were going to make kibble. Um, or pardon me, jerky. That's probably for making jerky, I bet you. So that's the only thing under fridges. Under wood storage. Advanced weapon storage. Advanced armor storage. Advanced feeding trough. Oh, that's neat. Advanced feeding trough. I want to build one of those. All right. And then what else other things are in here? Electrical. There's a couple of lights. A uh, standing light. Oh, that would be sweet. Now, I'm not sure how the power generation works in here. So there's advanced wall vault and advanced vault. All right. What else do we got? Beds. There's a cool looking bed. Miscellaneous. A mailbox and cooking. An industrial fermentation tank. Ferments tasty brew from thatch water and berries. So interesting stuff and things inside of here. So, but not everything needs to be crafted in that station. So let's take a look inside of here. I want to take a look at the advanced uh, power generation. So let me see here. Where would that be? Where are you, advanced? Oh, advanced space. That helps. Oh, it doesn't look like there is a generator that I can see. So the advanced charging station. Craft wireless generator and organic fuel cells. Huh. So maybe we got to get into that thing. Let's take a look here under craftables. No, it's not in there. Advanced space. No, that's the only thing we can craft out of there. So if we go in here and we type in charging station, there it is right there. 40 metal and 10 electronics. All right, let's go ahead and make one. So over here, we'll grab 40 metal and we'll just squirt those back in there. And then electronics. I think we've got some in here. 10 electronics. We grab 15. So charging station. Wait, what? Oh, it's inside. Just slipgator. Why? So we'll come down over here again. Squirt this inside of here. Bam, bam. Oh, advanced. Oh, wait. Weapons, ammo. Oh, I heard about these. So these darts actually are supposed to be even better than the nightmare stuff. The dream machine with the nightmare bullets, 6,000 torpor. And I heard that these do 15,000. So we're definitely going to have to get into playing around with that. I didn't even realize that we had other stuff and things to get in here, into here. Advanced defense. Ooh, that looks all spiky and cool, man. Advanced defensive wall. Ouch. Um, all right. <laughs> and structures, weapons, and then battery. That's this guy. So let's go ahead and craft this up and see what it looks like here. 
All right, now I'm going to place this like in the middle because I'm thinking this is kind of like our station for power. I don't really know. Okay, unpowered. Crapo. So this isn't where we get power. We can make the electric prod and we can make organic fuel gel. So that's from narcotics and cementing paste. Interesting. So, but it says that it's unpowered. I wonder if we need regular power. I'm going to go take a look around for some info. I'm going to be RBs, peeps. And we're back and stuff and things are happening. I'm going to talk really fast. So make sure if you're confused, leave a thumbs up. Here we go. So over here, we have created the portable power generator. This is a smaller than normal size generator that runs off of oil. He connects with regular cabling and uses the regular electric junction boxes. We're using that to go ahead and power off this crafting station right here. Crafting station allows us to craft certain things like wireless aliens, I guess. A reusable wireless alien generator that forms an electrical grid provides power to all nearby devices that use electricity requires organic fuel cells to be powered. Uh, yeah, that's something we want to make. We can also make organic fuel gel. Oh, here is organic fuel cells, the advanced electrical prod, and this incubator stuff and things, which we're not even going to get into. So I made the Arc Advanced Fabricator. It looks super cool, guys. Check out what this, I mean, just like the, the way that it looks. It's so, so neat. It does basically all the things that the fabricator does. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, I think that's basically it. It just has a different kind of a of a texture on it over here i've got the advanced cauldron now this bad boy you can make a regular cauldron uh and i think that's right inside of here uh nope is it inside of the advanced table right like a so yes you can make this 50 wood 25 thatch 20 cementy paste and 10 fiber but if you want you can make the advanced one which runs off power and it takes 25 metal crystal 20 oil and 10 cementing pastes now these guys make a couple of new items one of them is smelted copper, which requires metal, coal, and stone. And one of them is uh, the glass panel, which looks just like a panel from um, Minecraft, which is pretty cool. And it uses five crystal. And the coal is made just by burning wood. So I've burned up a bunch of coal. I've made a bunch of copper. I've made a bunch of these panels. And you can also make some other things in here, too. Copper plates, uh, glass jars, and you can actually make artifacts of the Skylord. So that's pretty crazy. I'm not exactly sure how, what that's going to be for, but I'm assuming it's somewhere in the future. It's the thing. So you use these things to make what I do believe is the first piece in the puzzle of Arc Advance, which is the Steam Workstation. So I want to show you guys this. I went ahead and built it, and I think we're going to place it right here. It's so cool looking, guys. Check this out. So cool, man. Now, this Arc Advance mod brings together like a lot of, or brings to, to, to the game, a lot of these copper things. It's this very, very steampunky type of um, stuff. It actually almost makes me wish that I hadn't built this all out of the RFC stuff from um, from the molecular printer. I kind of wish that I'd have built it all out of something else. But any hoozle, inside of here, I have no idea what we can make because I'm just learning. I'm just getting this here. Oh, okay. So this is where we can make a lot of other items that are from Arc Advanced. Steam-powered coil, gen coal gener no, coil generator, pardon me. Um, Steam-powered press, all sorts of really cool stuff and things. There's some different copper builds. Check these things out. Copper glass canopy walkway, copper glass canopy, um, reinforced roof. I, I almost want to like change this build over um is there like a ceiling inside of here it just has the anger for reinforced ceilings i'm wondering what size it is because these rf uh c ceilings i do believe are different size than the standard arc ones but anyway let's take a look really quickly actually at what we need to build these so copper plates are part of this and a lot more metal of course so we can actually start to make some copper plates inside of here right now we'll go ahead and craft up 25 of these and we'll craft up 45 inside of there as well to get more copper, we're going to need stone. Hey, we've got a bunch of that. Let's go over here. I've been gathering up tons and tons of materials. Let's grab uh, 900 of these bad boys, and we'll stick them. Uh, alternately, we'll split them in here and in here. Go ahead and craft up 72 more of that copper and 104 more in there. All you need, well, you need metal, which we've got, and then you just need, yeah, the coal and the stone. All right, so there's another thing in uh, Arc Advance that we can make that I want to play around with, and it is this 30cc Trank Dart. Now, we need 10 narcotics, one polymer, one metal, and 20 rare, rare flowers to make it. Now, I've only got, as far as, far as I can tell, about 100 rare flowers, so we're only going to be able to make five of these darts for now. We're going to have to go out and try to get more rare flowers in order to do this. So I have created, uh, crafted uh, a couple hundred polymer in here. I actually have 200 more coming. And we'll go ahead and we'll put 150 in. Um, and we'll go ahead down over here. Legacy. Oh, and I went out and got some berries so I can make more narcotic in the alchemy forge down here. Like of this, one of these, and then actually we can craft a bunch more up. Legacy. 
So, now we can come down here, squirt this inside of here, like so, and then look at these darts. We can do it. 30 cc's, 10 cc's. Let's go ahead and craft all five of these that we can make, because we can only make five, because we only have 100 rare flowers. Nailed the days to KB stop. Now, I hear that these trank darts do a lot more torpor, but they don't fit in the nightmare rifle. That's the rifle that we have right here. The dream machine, pardon me. Nightmare bullets. These do 6,000 torpor. Wow. We have a Ascendant Long Neck Rifle Blueprint right here. Now, if I can maybe move it over there, you can see we need 4686 metal, 986 wood, and 1213 hide to make this guy. And that's what we're going to do. So over in here, I've got... <gasps> Why are you not making metal? Electricity. Powered. It's not, it doesn't look like it's on. It doesn't look like it's on. Oh, weird. Oh, weird. That stinks. We were so ready. I had everything in place. I had all the pieces. I had everything ready to go. I had this big rant, and we did it, and it was amazing. And a lot of you did get confused, and some of you did hit the thumbs up button. And the final piece of the puzzle was that I was going to come over here, and I was going to put just exactly the right amount of metal inside of here so that we can make the rifle. So how many more do we need? We need 542. 542 metal. Do you have any metal? No, I took it all out. Uh, do you have any metal? No. Is there any metal in here? No. Any metal in here? Oh, no. All right. 506. So now we are only 36 metal short, which I bet you we have inside of here. Now that escape oh, oh, yeah, baby. All right. So we're going to be able to make the advanced super duper, or pardon me, the ascendant long neck rifle. Let's go ahead and craft it. No, no, no. Don't drop that. Why? Why? Stupid game. Why do you hate me? Why do you hate your slip gator game? Okay, one day. Okay. We're up. We're up. Wait, grab it. Give me this stupid thing right now immediately. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and place this in here calmly. And let's craft this bad boy up. I wish we could see how much uh, we weren't pinned on XP. We could see how much XP we're going to get. And... Now this game stop. Max durability, 882. Weapon damage, 461. So, let us go ahead and do a little bit of a test here. Now we've got both of these guys. We've got the Tranks. Squirt them inside of there. Let's go like this. Let's reload it. I wish we could shoot ourselves. Really bad. So, let's shoot... Oh, this guy right here. So, Gigantoroids. He's got 47,000 Torpor. So, we know the Nightmare Rifle does 6,000. Let's just go ahead and nail him. Oh, there it goes. It's peaking. 17, 21... 23,800 torpor. Holy crap, man. This is definitely the way to go. So, you know, this is going to fire a little bit slower. It's not going to be quite as quick. But at 23,000, that's almost four times what the nightmare bullets do with just one bullet. That's just that's just silly. This is just the silliest thing of all time. Peace out, gun. It was. So oh, wait. That doesn't go in here. I said we got a better spot for it right here in the middle vault. So, uh, yeah, you're gone and you're gone. We don't need you anymore. Thanks very much. Um, but now we need, in order to make more of those darts, and we need lots, like thousands, millions of them. Uh, metal, which we have now, that's crafting up, but we need rare flowers too. And those are really hard to find. Um, well, they're not hard to find. They're hard to get huge, huge amounts of. Um, and so we could probably just go to the mountaintops, do some stuff and things up there. Um, I'm wondering if... Teleport me, homie. If we were to take heft, and we took heft, and then we were to get gigantoroids, come over here, buddy, and we were to take these guys and go up to the top of one of the mountains and start harvesting some of the plants on the snow-capped mountains, if we'd get a lot of rare flowers. I'm not quite sure. Testing the theory now. Slash and rant. BRBs, peeps. And we're back. Actually, I was reaching out to some of the guys. I did some... S Calm down. Oh, look at the Stargate with the moon in the background. Killer screenshot. Probably not for this episode, though. Anyway. Oh, it's turning to be dark. It is becoming the night. Um, so I was looking around, and uh, I was asking some of the guys in our Skype chat where there's some rare flowers, and XB said, well, there's, um, there's a Stargate called Rare Flowers, which actually I don't think you can see it right now because we're there. We're at it. So Rare Flower Stargate is... Right here on top of the 
<laughs> right here, I have a marker on my map from Vanilla. So right here on top of the, the mountain, um, and I went ahead and brought Gaster or uh, Gigantoroids over here. And each one of these little guys, I'm getting, I think, five flowers from. Pretty much. Oh, there's one. There's two. There, I got five out of that one. Now, um, it looks like, I think Chicken Bone did this. Now, he's got a guy up here named Barry. Let's go ahead and grab Barry. We're going to have to grab him off of here. This is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, oh, you cannot pick things up while you have the Stargate remote in your hand. All right. So we're going to go ahead and grab Barry right here. It is all the way night now. I don't know how we're going to get Barry back up there. Um, we'll figure it out, I guess. So we'll drop him off over here. Is it like a super dangerous spot up here? I think it is. I don't know. Hopefully everything will be okay. So let's take a look at Barry. Well, how much weight do you have? Eh, only 3,000. Let's drop some berries here. Let's just drop this guy and this guy. And then let's see... He's getting, I think, the same amount. Two. That was two. That was three. That was one. Yeah, so it doesn't look like Barry's doing much better than uh, Gigantoroids was doing. So, yeah, no big whoop there. But, yeah, rare flowers. Found them. Got to get... I'm going to go ahead and harvest up a huge batch of them and then head back to base. And we're back! I'm going to go ahead and drop all these bad boys in there. We're going to make 3,100 more narcotic berries. There's 1,175 more narcotics being made up. Oh, whoops. Also, it's super bright. There we go. And inside of this bad boy right here, I got some other stuff and things, but 356 rare flowers in but, a, in but an instant. Pretty quick stuff here. So if we go ahead inside of here now, all right, metal ingots are what we need. And we have plenty of those because while we were out and about doing stuff and things... Our epic forge has been making metal. And we're not going to be able to carry even close to all of it. So we'll have to split it and split this and split this. And then, oh, 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 oh. And we'll come back and get these guys in a second. So now we should be able to come down here. Go ahead and squirt these guys in there. Darts. How many can we make? 18. Wait, that's it? I wonder why that is. I think it should be more than that. Oh, no, that makes sense. 356. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's about 18. Wow, guys. It's going to take so many friggin' rare flowers to make a lot of these. But to be honest with you, with the amount of torpor they do, you really shouldn't need that many. It shouldn't be a question of, like, needing a huge, huge amount like that. Where should I put the rest of this metal? Anybody know? Anybody? Anybody? Uh, I'll stick it inside this ball right here. I'm still kind of learning where all my stuff and things go. Let's see if we can't get close enough to get those two. There we go. And we can squirt the rest of the metal right down inside of there. So, all right, we've got our Trank Darts now. I'm ready, and I think that it's been a few episodes we've been doing in, in Mod. We've been doing some building. I think in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and head out and do some taming. Um, but also, we've got this that we've got to start playing around with as well. Um, and I'm really in excited to do this. There's all these copper structures we can make, um, which I don't know if we're really going to get into. But I want to try out the steam-powered coil generator, like find out the steam-powered press, like find out how this all works crafting there's an industrial forge here which i'm ex assuming um is the same as like the regular industrial forge it just looks different so probably not something we're really going to need oil storage tank would be cool you know i'm really surprised that this mod has this really cool copper bit and there's no power generation unless is this steam power steam powered coil generator steam powered press I wonder if there is a way. I think Zuljan actually might be making power with this. Oh, wow. There's all these different... Oh, so neat looking stuff and things. But anyway, all right, guys. What did we even do today? We built this whole rest of this... This has been a crazy episode. We built this whole rest of this other thing. Um, we went ahead and crafted up all this new stuff. We got into all these new things. We got the new rifle. It was it was really a lot of stuff we got done today. I can't believe it. I hope that you guys had fun hanging out. I know I did. If you guys like this video... Please don't forget to show your support and hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. I wish I could shoot myself with this. <laughs> Just to see what it's like. Oh, and our little buddy is still here throughout all of our adventures. Hey, why don't you have a nap? Peace out, buddy. And may the stuff of things be with you, peeps. <laughs>